I'm Lexi, this is Kenny, and this is Logan. We know that some of you have been shut in by the um, coronavirus quarantine, so we just wanted to read you a few stories. I'm Lexi, and our first book is If You Give a Pig a Pancake by Laura Numeroff. If you give a pig a pancake, she'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sicky. So she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm she was born on. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. And when she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you have to go get your hammer. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. So you'll have to go get some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sick, you will remind her of her favorite, favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if, you, if she asks you for, for some maple syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. My name is Logan. I'm reading Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with a spoon. Hi, my name is Kenny, and this is a book I just made myself. It's called The Onion and Potato, written by me. There once was an onion who was sad all the time, but the only reason he was crying is that onions cry, so the other fruits and vegetables didn't know. Here's the picture. Right, next page. And then, Onion met Potato. They both got bullied all the time, so they were friends. They ran, played, and had so much fun. They laughed and they laughed and they laughed until they couldn't no more. Then they decided to have a sleepover together and they went to bed because they were very tired after a long day of playing. <coughs> and they made a pledge to say they were best friends forever. The end. Thanks for watching Children's Books Read Aloud. With Lexi, Logan, and Kenny. Bye! Bye.